do a video that's going to showcase some of the features in the Mac social networking plugin. Uh, this one's a little bit uh, more confusing than our Android and iOS versions just because of the vast number of different options you have. So we thought making a video would make it the, as clear as possible. So we're going to show you just a few of the features here. Uh, so we have uh, Facebook integration here and do the normal initialize like in uh, in our other social networking plugins. We'll do a login here and you see you get this uh, little web view that pops up and the user can log in and the API allows you to um, force re-login so that it won't cache users so that's if you uh, want different people to be able to log in you'll be able to do that and go ahead and do a login and you can see we get the login event and it passes back the access token. So now that we have the access token, we can call any of the methods that require a login. So we can call get access token and we see we get the token. We can call the me graph request and you'll see we get the me graph request data. Uh, so you'd be able to call any graph API calls at that point. And uh, this uses the same Facebook class that's in the Android and iOS versions of the plugin. So all of your code using the Graph API will be identical for all three platforms. So let's clear that out. And now um, uh, OSX Mountain Lion has a couple new sharing features and uh, we expose those via the plugin as well. Now these um, don't require you to log into the service. So uh, in the case of using the sharing sheet, there's no login required. So you do not need to go through the initialize and login steps. This uses the Facebook account that the user has set up with Mountain Lion. And you can see that they get this nice little dialogue and they can choose who sees it and then they can post away. And with these, you can actually add uh, URLs, uh, you can add images, and uh, you just pass in a, a full path to an image and the plugin will automatically attach an image to that post for you. And you can see we get relevant events, did fail to share items event. And if it was a successful share, we would have saw that as well. So Twitter also has uh, has the share sheet, and it's the, the standard uh, mountain lion share sheet. And same basic features there. You can add URLs. You can add images. And uh, also, not in this demo, is uh, you can use that share sheet for Flickr. And also, uh, for our Chinese friends, you get Sino Weibo as well. So that'll cover, uh, the share sheet will cover all of those. If you want to be able to log into Twitter and get a little bit more control over things, like access the REST API, for example, uh, you can actually do that as well with the plugin. So, uh, you know, while doing the share sheets is is the really simple and easy way to handle things. Uh, if you for the power users out there that want to access the REST API, the only way to do it is to go through the full authorization flow. So, we'll do a quick example of that. So, when we initialize, it'll check to see if we have cached credentials for the user and we don't so it'll let you know and it'll automatically get a request token now, the request token is required to be able to log in so once we have that we can now do the Twitter login and you can see it pops up the standard login form punch in our username and password and uh, you'll notice a couple logs here so um, the way the Twitter API works and all OAuth uh, 1.0 is uh, you have to actually get a, a request token first and then you can use that to do, do a login and then you end up getting a, getting a token back and a verifier and you actually have to then trade that for an actual access token. So you can see here um, we dump a log here letting you know what's happening and then the login event fires once, uh, once we've successfully logged in and it'll return back the username. So now that we're logged in, we're clear to actually use the Twitter REST API. So uh, we'll just upload an image to Twitter here. And you can see we have the post image succeeded event and it dumps uh, a whole bunch of data about that tweet. And it returns that to you in a dictionary. So it's nice and easy to go through. And uh, we can actually go take a look on Twitter here. So we can see that and you can see I have an image with me and there's the image. There's also going to be other times where um, you know you don't want to go through the whole hassle of dealing with uh, access tokens and logging into Twitter and all that stuff. So um, you know the share sheet is great if you're on 
mountain lion or greater, but for people who are in older uh, versions of the OS, there's also another way that we do things. So this doesn't require login either, and it's just uh, it's called a Twitter intent. And uh, when you click on this, you'll see it'll pop up one of these little prompts, which I'm sure you've seen on the web. And if the user isn't logged in, there would just be a little username and password field here, and they can go right ahead and send the tweet from here, and we grab that event for you and let you know if it finished or failed. All right, that's about it.